from the showroom at South Point Hotel, Casino, and Spa, please welcome John Caparulo. start yelling shit already. Uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, dudes. All right. Look at this. All right. I look at, look at, I'm fucking dressed up. Huh? I mean, look at. <laughs> Seriously, this is fuck, this is prom for me. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't go to prom. So, uh, yeah. Finally got to wear this shit. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that's that's yeah, that's dressed up to me. It's fucking buttons. I, I really like it's a, yeah, I'm like whoa, that's fucking fancy. You know, like I mean, it's the same. Like I look, it's the same way. Like I look at a restaurant. Like you know, well they don't have a drive-through or a spork. So, woo, now I gotta wear a fucking tie. I guess you know, it's uh, but it's good. Good to be in Las Vegas itself. I love coming to Vegas, you know. It's one of those places that you come to that you enjoy, you know. <laughs> I mean, I do, I like coming. Vegas is one of the places I come to that's actually fun. I get to drive here from LA, you know, which, you know, that's, it, it always seems more fun than it is. I, I mean, because you drive, like, I've made the drive a bunch of times. I just, uh, fuck Prim. I, I, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever made that drive. I mean, motherfucker, they get me every time. Like, I just, they should rename Prim fucking Mirage. Because that's all it is. They get me <laughs> every time. Because I'm three and a half hours into that drive. It fucking back hurts. I got to pee. I see lights, I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, viva las fucking prim. I'm gonna kill you. I fucking hate you, motherfucker, Whiskey Pete. I, <laughs> they fucking catch me every time. But yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I, I like coming here. I, I, you know, I, I like to play. I don't know why I think I'm good at poker. There's no, <laughs> there's no reason. Like, there's nothing about my brain I should invest money in. Like, it always takes me like three or four hundred bucks for it to finally dawn on me. Why, why am I competing at a math game with Asians right now? Why did that, why did that make sense? I'm a fucking cash register to these guys. <laughs> oh, I know what'll improve my math skills, fucking whiskey. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All in, Quan. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I get so drunk I forget the rules and shit. <laughs> He's like, I got a full house. I'm like, I got Uno. All right, you're a kid. I call Blue. What the fuck are you gonna do now? I, uh, but I like coming to. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 fun coming here. Like uh, you know, because I don't have to, I don't have to fly or anything. I like to come here. It's 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 always fucking hot. It's, it's desert hot. I mean, I live in LA, so I'm used to, you know, but it's still, there's different levels of hot. You know, you go to some, I was in, I was in Tampa, Florida. That's a thick, hot. It's heavy, like it's deceptive. Cause you look outside and you're like, oh, I could walk to Burger King. And I can't walk to fucking Burger King. I came back with a Whopper and a fucking yeast infection from Burger King. I'm like, I'm, I'm a little moist right now. Like I, <laughs> I should probably call my mom about this shit because <laughs> I don't feel all that fresh. I know that. <laughs> but sometimes I get to do cool shit when I travel. Like I was at, well, last time I was in Tampa, um, I got I got to throw out the first pitch at a at a Tampa Bay Rays game. I fucking blew it. I. <laughs> 
It's my second time throwing out a first pitch. I don't know what it is, but it's a ball. I'm a dude. Fuck. I mean, like, because the first time I did it was in Cleveland, and uh, I was at an Indians game. I, I was I was so scared of short arming it, I threw it over everybody's head. Like, I bombed it. Like, I, the, the catcher and the mascot just stood there. There's Like one of you fuckers could have dove. Really? I mean, my family's watching. Make a play. Everybody booed me and shit. Like it was just. But when I was in Tampa, I was like, "Fuck it, I'm throwing heat." <laughs> like I still kid myself at this age. Like I'm gonna throw such a good fastball, the manager's gonna be like, "You want to go a few innings?" I... I feel good, Skip. Let's fucking do it. But I got, yeah, I got out to the mountain. I'm like, fuck, that's far. Hey, I'm like, this shit ain't regulation. It's not fucking, <laughs> is there a ladies' tea I can go from? This is bullshit. But I talked shit before I went out there telling the catcher, I'm like, you better get your hand ready. This is gonna fucking hurt. So I get out to the mound, and he's all the way there. <laughs> so I'm committed to throwing a fastball. So I, I wind up, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and the whole stadium heard, yeah. Because <laughs> it's pretty quiet at that point, you know, I mean. <laughs> so they knew I tried. I wasn't getting away with that shit. Fucking one-hopped it. right before the second hop, and I, uh, I just... <laughs> and there's that moment it sets in where you're like, a, a lot of people fucking saw that shit. I, I... And the thing is, I was ready for them to boo me. Like, I was, I was, I was prepared emotionally to get booed. But no, not in Tampa. They had to be fucking supportive. <laughs> They clapped. It made me feel worse. They, they took a minute, like, I... <laughs> like I was there from fucking make a wish or some shit. Like, it was... <laughs> Come on, that's a good throw for a sick little girl. Give it up for her. Like, fuck you guys. I, I don't need this shit. <laughs> but I, uh... Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I get to go do cool stuff like that. Like, I was in Dallas a couple years ago for the Super Bowl. I, uh, it was the, was the Packers-Steelers Super Bowl. I went to the, it was the game, yeah. It was cool going to the Super Bowl. It's just like they, uh, I went with my friend, and, uh, he's a, he's a Steeler fan. Like, I, you know, I mean, I grew up a Browns fan, which is no way to live. And, uh, I was... <laughs> Yeah, it's just, uh, but you know, like I just, you know, I'm just, yeah, I watch the whole league, you know, because I just can't let them ruin my fucking Sunday anymore. But, but we went to the game, and one of my friend, my friend's a Steeler fan, so we bet on the game. It was a $200 bet. My friend decided to be a dick because he lost, pay me off in all $2 bills. <laughs> Imagine the commitment it takes to be that much of a douche. You know, I mean. There's no ATMs that dispense twos. I mean, you gotta, you gotta drive to the bank, stand in line, go up to the teller. Yeah, I need a hundred twos. Nobody needs a hundred fucking twos. See, even the teller's like, you're just being a dick to somebody, aren't you? <laughs> so everywhere I went for a while to pay with fucking twos, which ain't easy, because technically, two dollar bills, they're just money, but apparently, it's a conversation piece to everybody too, so I can't just pay anywhere. I, I, everywhere I go, every kid, I go, that's a two dollar bill. I'm like, oh, this is the guy who fucking gave it to you. I know. <laughs> One cashier, I was like, it was like at Walgreens or something. Whatever I bought was like eight bucks. So I gave her four twos. <laughs> she actually did the light test on him. Like, I'm counterfeiting fucking twos. I mean, like, hey, oh, yeah, you got me, Columbo, yeah. Twos and nickels, I'm gonna run this town. <laughs> if 
But yeah, I, I gotta travel a lot. I, uh, you know, I, I, I always have to fly, though. It's just, it's just, we all hate it. It just gets worse, you know. I can't fly directly anywhere. Like, ev everywhere, everywhere I go, I gotta go to fucking Charlotte. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I could be flying from London to Hong Kong. We gotta go to Charlotte. Why? <laughs> the fuck is in Charlotte? More planes, bitch. Get on. <laughs> Like, I've never even seen the city of Charlotte. I just know the airport has a Cinnabon. That's it. I guess all I know about it. That, and Char Charlotte's the only airport I've been to that the restrooms have an attendant. The, the guy with the towels. <laughs> Is anybody like that fucking guy? Like, you ever walk into a restroom without an attendant and go, man, I feel so unwelcome right now. Like, you know what I need more of when I'm pooping? Fucking company. God damn it, it's just... It's just not the same without a stranger to talk to. I mean, I'm getting lonely in here and I need a fucking peppermint. Where's the guy? <laughs> Public restrooms are so gross, too. <laughs> Like, whose pee is that yellow? Why is that not gone? <laughs> I get grossed out. I fucking, yeah, I, I drown myself in hand sanitizer. I, I, can't, I can't do it. Like, it's, I always get sick when I fly. I just, yeah, I always have to fly next to the guy with the fucking cough. And I can hear him coming down the aisle, too. <laughs> You're right here, sir. <laughs> I was up to fly next to the guy who wants to talk. Fucking shut up. I don't know what it is about my face. People are like, oh, I bet he wants fucking friends. And I don't, like, I, I'm full. Like, if you want to talk, have a point. If there's something to talk about, let's talk. Like, if you look over and go, hey, did you see? This plane only has one wing. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for bringing that shit up. Like, it's a good thing to talk about. Just make small talk out of nothing. So, where are you headed? I'm the same fucking place you are. I'm... We're all going to fucking Charlotte for some reason. That's just where they keep the planes. <laughs> He's a fly, I do. I just... But we, uh, yeah, I, gotta, I travel a lot. I gotta, uh, you know... I, I, I wish I could be home more, you know. I just, uh, I got married last, uh, last May. Yeah, I got married last May. I, uh, yeah, we, it, women, it's always women who clap for that shit. <laughs> dudes are never real supportive. Like, you know, it's a, yeah, there's always like at least a few dudes groaning like, ah, you should have fucking talked to me. Like, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm good with, like, I don't, I can see for some guys it's different, you know, for some guys it's, you know, I had one friend who's like, you know, oh, have fun having sex with the same woman every night for the rest of your life. I'm like, well, that would improve my numbers. So, I mean, <laughs> thank you. I can see how for some guys it's a sacrifice with, you know, your, your, your lifestyle, your sex life. For me, not so much. You know? <laughs> It's not like there was this line of pussy outside my door, and I'm like, oh, you're all gonna have to go home now. I'm sorry, I, the, the position's been filled. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we got married last, uh, last week. We don't, we don't uh, you know, we don't have kids or anything. You know, we have, uh, we have kids, we have dogs. Which we had to, you'd have to cheer that shit. I mean, you know, it's, we, uh, we have dog. We had to, we had to merge dogs when she moved in. Which I think it'd be easier with kids, because at least with kids you can tell kids, hey kids, you're gonna notice other fucking kids. <laughs> I felt bad for my dog because you know at first he's like, hey, we got company, and then like three weeks later he's like, so they're just not fucking leaving, are they? I mean. Were you ever gonna explain this shit for I mean... 
<laughs> but it's really, yeah, we have very, you know, we have very different dogs, you know. Like, I had my dog, I have a, I have a basset hound, which, uh, yeah, I got, a, I got him from a breeder. I know they say you're supposed to rescue dogs from the pound, but I guess I have a hang-up about getting a dog straight out of fucking prison. <laughs> What if he has issues from that? You know, he wakes up at night screaming and starts braiding my hair and shit. I wanted to know what I was getting, you know. Basset Down's a perfect breed for me. He likes to go for walks, just not like uphill. <laughs> He's like, I'm not trying to get exercise here. I'm just trying to go sniff some shit and come back home. All right, that's cool. But when I got him from the breeder, she's like, he's a basset hound, so he's gonna be hard to housebreak. By that, I guess she meant he's gonna pee in the house till he dies. Cause I mean, <laughs> it's not like he's a puppy, he's seven. He's just to dick about it, like, you know? <laughs> Cause you know most dogs, if they do something bad, they'll go run and hide. Barney doesn't give the shit. Like, I'll be, I'll be on my knees cleaning up pee, he just comes over and licks my face. <laughs> it's fucking ballsy, you know, when you think about it. It's your crime scene, Barney. I mean, you just walk up to the cops. Hey, hey what's going on here, officer? <laughs> I don't know who started that fire, but I could sure use a treat. Try it on that. <laughs> it, it's. Yeah, I'm a dog person. I, I, I like to, I could, that's one thing I get, yeah, really, it's like I couldn't be with somebody who doesn't like dogs. Like, I don't mind cats so much as cat people. <laughs> and not, not if you have a cat. It's just multi-cat fuckers. <laughs> like, some lady came up to me in Tennessee, she's like, I'll have you know I have eight cats. I'm like, I'll have you know people can tell. And I don't... <laughs> Damn, when you walked up, I'm like, I bet that bitch has about eight cats, and I was right about that. But yeah, I just couldn't be able to say he doesn't like dogs. Like, I went out with this girl was a few years ago. Like, I didn't know she didn't like dogs till she came over. She's, she's horrified. Ew. You let your dog lick your face? I'm like, yeah, I, I know him. <laughs> it's not gonna go any further than this. I mean, it just... But he licks his butt. What? Not recently. Uh, I, it's it's kind of like the five-second roll, you know. Like I don't, I don't let him go straight from his mud hole to my face. I mean, I don't, I don't catch him licking his butt and go, oh, "Hey, when you're done there, hook me up. Come on, I'll meet you on the couch." I let some time go by. I, let his tongue cool off, you know, just... But yeah, she, uh, but when she moved in, she brought, uh, she brought her dog, she brought her, uh, Puggle. If you're not familiar with what a Puggle is, they take a Pug and a Beagle, and apparently they mix the worst parts of both of those dogs, so... <laughs> now I got this nervous, loud, stinky thing that sleeps in my fucking armpit every night. Like, I'm not... I'm not used to having such a high-strung dog. This dog, he's 20 pounds. He'll fuck you up. Like, he's just, he's just looking for a fight all the time for no reason. It's like, I dare you to take my bone. I'm like, I don't want your bone, dude. I, 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 I gave you the fucking bone, remember? I bought it. Like, I'm not used to having a dog with that much energy. I mean, basset hounds don't do shit. Barney's like a rug with feet. They eat us too. <laughs> But this dog, the Puggle, the Puggle was her dog before I met her, so he's real, like, he's, like, weirdly possessive. Like, he's on 24-hour cock block duty, you know? <laughs> we'll be in bed, he's like, oh, and don't you trying to have sex with my mom, so I'm gonna sit on her chest like a fucking gargoyle all night. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird at first, but I called his bluff. I'm like, I'll look right at you, bitch. I don't give a scare. <laughs> Your mammy feels real good, yeah. (laughs) 
And I'm gonna chew your bone, too. <laughs> I'm not proud of everything I say. <laughs> it's probably best that I don't have uh, children. I um, <laughs> she wants to have kids. I'm uh, I'm not ready to mess up children. I'm still just getting used to you know being married, being in a relationship. Period. I mean, I was because I was single for a long long time before I met my wife. So it's like. It's a change, you know, like, she moved in with me a couple years ago, I, I felt bad for her. Because, <laughs> I mean, I lived in my house for like five years by myself. I mean, when you're a single guy, it's like, you know, I have a big TV, a soft chair, the, the fridge works. <laughs> she moves in, she's like, what's in this room? I'm like, I had bats. I don't know, I never, <laughs> I haven't gone in there in a while, I don't know. Why is there a footprint on the wall? Look, because I had to show a mosquito who's fucking boss around here rather than a footprint on... She's cleaning and yelling at me for like a week. When was the last time this bathroom was cleaned? I mean, you'll have to track down the previous owners, all right? Look, I'm tired of all these fucking questions. Because she's from like civilization, you know, I mean, she's from a better class of people, you know, both her parents were teachers and fucking taxpayers and shit, like, I mean, I always feel stupid, she'll tell me, like, you know, her parents are going on vacation to Florida or something, I'm like, oh, my, my dad's burning shit in the backyard right now, that, uh, that's what he's doing for vacation. You know, she told me growing up in her house, if somebody burped or farted, they had to say, pardon me. That blew my fucking mind. I really, like, my family would be more offended by pardon me. You know, like, did you just say pardon me? Oh, guess we're having dinner with the king of fucking England tonight. I had no idea. Somebody's better than us. Look at him. Fucking buttons on his shirt and shit. <laughs> but yeah, we, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an adjustment, though, you know, living with somebody. You gotta, you know, you gotta learn how to, you gotta learn how to coexist, you know, both ways, really. I mean, you know, because I, I mean, I like, I like warm weather, but inside the house, I'm fat, so... <laughs> I keep my house like a fucking meat locker all year. I mean, I just, you know, it's 63 no matter when. And she's always cold. And she always says, why do you have to keep it so fucking cold in here? I'm like, because it's easier for you to put on a sweatshirt than it is for me to lose 60 fucking pounds. So, I mean, <laughs> which one's going to happen today? I, I just... You gotta, you know, you gotta learn how to, you gotta learn how to compromise. You gotta learn how to live together, you know. But it's different. It's a different experience for me altogether, you know. It's like when you're married, you, you know, you just. I have a woman representing me now. <laughs> you know, like she tries to make me look like a decent citizen. You know, like like people get like birthday cards from me. People know I don't give a shit about them. I mean, people thank me for shit. It's like, you know I didn't send that. I mean, thank you for the fruit basket. Oh, yeah, that was fucking me. Yeah, I, oh, I know how you like nectarines. That was really... Give a shit. But yeah, well, you know, you, you just, you do different things. We have different friends. We have couples friends now. That's weird. People you'd never hang out with otherwise, but it's like, oh, but there's two of them, so now they're awesome. Like, we go to her friend's house, her friend has a boyfriend or something, it's like I'm her son. And go play with fucking Jeff. <laughs> you can't just throw me together with dudes because we're dudes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, go talk about your balls or whatever. I mean, it's 
it's gotta be chemistry. It's gotta be the right kind of dude. Like, I don't know if it's a bad quality I have. Like, I can't hang out with dudes who don't know anything about sports. Like, I just think, I think it's weird. I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you have, dolls and shit? <laughs> what do you do? Or dudes who like weird sports, you know? I'm mainly into lacrosse. Shut the fuck up, dude, come on. How are you mainly into lacrosse? What fucking TV package is that that I don't know about? <laughs> I'm mainly into leaving because I don't like you. But in sports, as men, sports gives us something to talk about so we can get to know each other without really having to fucking know each other. You know, because like, we don't know each other that well. Like, I, you know, guys, are, I didn't realize it myself. I never thought about it until I had a wife asking me questions about my friends, and I'm like, I have no fucking answers for you. I mean, you know, my best friend since high school so what does Tim do for a living? I'm like, he fucking works or some shit. I... Eight hours a day, I don't fucking see him, I guess. I... Does he have a girlfriend? I don't know. Is he gay? No. How do you know? <laughs> I guess I don't. Uh, <laughs> he's never tried to fuck me, but... Uh... Then again, a lot of people haven't. So that doesn't really determine his sexuality so much as I'm not his type. Either way, I... <laughs> but it's just, you know, like, with, but sports, sports are good, you know, barometer to figure out if we're going to be able to, you know, hang out. Like, we're leaving her friend's house. It's like, she set me up on a blind date. It's like, so? What'd you think of Jeff? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> well, Jeff thinks LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan, so I think Jeff should fucking die. Does that make me a bad guy? She <laughs> doesn't think it's that deep, you know? Okay, what about besides that? I'm like, I stopped fucking talking to him after that. I mean, our relationship ended at that point. I, did you hear what I said? Because women will talk about more substantial shit. You know, like if, you, if you're friends, you'll talk about more intimate stuff. You know, like you you'll talk about your relationship and your sex life and then she'll tell me and I don't want to know this shit about people I got to see again. Did you know they only have sex in the kitchen? You fucking do now, thank you. You didn't know that? No, I just know if we go over there again, we're gonna bring our own plates and forks and shit. I mean, because Jeff didn't tell me about the kitchen himself. Now I gotta go look Jeff in the eye and act like I don't know about the fucking kitchen and it's gonna get weird. You want something to drink? No, I don't, Jeff. I brought my own cooler of shit in the car, I'm fine. Because if you're ever in a couple's friendship, the women always know more intimate shit about the other couple, and then they put it on us, and we gotta fucking carry it with us. I gotta go to dinner and not giggle. <laughs> Did you know Jeff likes to put goldfish crackers in his butthole? <laughs> Why would he ever share that with me? No. I that didn't come up, or are you talking about fantasy fucking football? No, that, I don't want to know this shit. I'm not enough of a grown-up to have that kind of information at my disposal. Like, I'm not gonna use that. Next time me and Jeff are arguing about sports, I'm just gonna sit on that fucking gold mine, really? <laughs> you back me into a corner, I will use what I gotta get. <laughs> I will use whatever I have in my arsenal to survive. Oh, really, Jeff? Peyton Manning has better stats than Tom Brady? Well, I don't think Tom Brady puts fucking crackers up his ass, does it, Jeff? Uh, yeah, you didn't think I knew that shit. Go clean your fucking kitchen and get the fuck away from me, all right? I'm gonna watch lacrosse. <laughs> it's just... Sex is, uh... 
Sex is something, I guess, I've always wished as a comedian I could talk more about sex and shit, but I don't know shit. <laughs> 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 like, I, yeah, I was, a, I was a virgin until I was 21. I, uh, thank you. That's, um... <laughs> You would think laughter would hurt the most. The, the dead fucking silence that they... The collective hush of like... That just sounded true, didn't it? I mean, I, either that or yeah, you're just like, yeah, right, yeah, that figures. Uh, I just, yeah, I realized a long time ago sex is just not my major selling point you know like I had a girlfriend in college we broke up this is an ugly breakup you know where like cars get scratched and shit her car got scratched done fucking bad in the car a couple weeks go by one of her friends comes up to me she's like oh she's talking shit on you she's telling everybody you got a little dick and I'm ready to get mad I'm like <laughs> Was anybody surprised? I mean, like, I, who was looking at me before that going, I'll bet he's packing fucking thunder. I mean, women don't look at me like that. Like, oh, I bet he'll tear it up. No, they, they look at me like, oh, I bet he'll hold my purse. And I will. Like, I'm just, just happy to be here, really. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I got over that shit a long time ago. There's, penis size thing. I mean, because I had to. <laughs> like, I had, a, I had a friend when I was younger. He's like, dude, you should shave your pubes. It'll make your dick look bigger. I'm like, how long are your fucking pubes? I, I mean, like, <laughs> if they're that long, your dick's not the only thing hiding in there. You're gonna, you're gonna find other shit. <laughs> it's like, J -j hey, there's a gummy bear. There's a gummy bear. There's it was pineapple. But yeah, I just, uh, sex is, I've realized, I guess I've, you know, I've realized over the years, as far as like, yeah, as as I've realized over the years, as far as like straight dudes go, I'm pretty fucking, I'm pretty timid. It's weird, like, cause I mean, it was always, it was always amazing to me when I was still dating, like to find out what some women's interpretation of what all men are like, I'm like, who? The fuck are you dating? <laughs> all of you men are the same. All of you, all of you cheat. All of you like anal. All of you want to choke me during sex. I'm like, <laughs> I think you were just raped. I, I don't think that was. <laughs> Did any of this happen in the woods by chance? That's fucking terrible. <laughs> Who did that shit? Cause I'm just not like, I like, I don't, it's always, I've always wondered how people evolved to that point. Like, maybe it's because, like, I haven't had enough sex to get to the point where sex itself just isn't thrilling enough anymore. You know, like, like this just doesn't do it. I don't know. Fucking pee on me. Just, I try it. I try it. Like, do some people try that and go, yeah, I don't fucking do that again. No, that wasn't mine. But they, they, I just never understood how people, like, I had a roommate. I had a roommate when I first moved to LA. We had like a, we had like a three bedroom apartment. One of my roommates had a girl over one night. It's like two o'clock in the morning. He comes knocking on my door all out of breath. He's, he's like, dude, she's a freak. I'm like, well, tell her I said hi. I, I mean, I, why are you here right now? It's like, nah, she's cool. He's like, uh, would you uh, care to join us? I'm like, did you just try to make that sound fucking polite? Uh, I mean, like there's candlelight and a play setting over there for me and I, I'm gonna go put a napkin on my lap and double team your girl? No, that's fucking creepy. I still think of that happened 12 years ago. Like I still think about, like that would never, that would never cross my mind. There's never been a time I'm having sex that I'm like, there's just not enough fucking dudes here right now. 
I don't feel right. I, I, I just, I see one dick and it's mine and I don't like it. I, uh... You wait here. I'm gonna go make some calls. Cause this is, I need backup. It's fucking weird. Like, I just never have gotten into this weird shit like that. Like, I just, I don't understand how people do. Like, it's, uh, you know, I've always been pretty, it's pretty timid with, I always feel like, you know, like, you just, you know, like, even you, you try to get too into, say, you know, you, you guys, like, slap asses, and so you, it's, I'm always like, like psh, sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm just, just feel bad, you know, pulling out, I'm like, I, I made a big mess back here, <laughs> I, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I feel weird about getting to, you know, like, stuff like, like, strip clubs, like, I, you know, when I was a kid, you know, like when I was a teenager, I, like, oh, I can't wait to go to a titty bar. And then you go to one, it's like, oh, I'm sad, you know? <laughs> and can they buy a new fucking CD? I mean, Jesus. Sounds like a fucking skating rink in here, I mean. But it's weird, like, I can't get into it. Like, with some guy, like, I'd never had a lap dance till I was 30. Like, <laughs> like I didn't care. Like, it was just, we were on tour. And we, after the show, like, we were, we ended up at a strip club, and we, uh, my, uh, one of the other guys on tour, it's like, you've never had a lap dance? I'm getting you a lap dance. Tonight, you are getting a lap dance. I'm getting, like, it was a fucking polio vaccine or some shit. Like, I, like, I had to have this to live. And it's just weird. Like, I don't think of it as, like, an erotic experience. Like, I'm just like, here's a stranger with her butt on my jeans right now. Like, I'm like... I need a lot of fucking Febreze when I leave here. I just, like... <laughs> when I get, yeah, I get weirded out by shit, you know? Like, I remember, yeah, I remember when I had my, uh, had my first apartment, and my first, like, my first apartment by myself, like, single, got, like, nobody else lived there. So, of course, bachelor pad, first thing I, I, I called phone sex. <laughs> they were so creeped out by that. I, like it was, it not, wasn't fucking yesterday. All right, I, I mean, it was. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of years before. You know, before, like I still had dial up at that point. You know, I mean, it was. But it's just, you know, like it's. You know, you. Uh, yeah, you call up and it's just. It's uh, like I didn't realize. Like you know, I'm like, oh, I gotta talk too. I can't do that shit. Like, if I could do that, I could just, I would, there'd be a real girl here. I, 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 I and they get on there, they're like, press one for a buxom blonde, press two for a hot brunette, press three to, to join a party line, and you can join or just listen in. I'm like, all right, I can press three and be a fucking weirdo. And I'm just, I'm looking at three, like, it's a big line to cross, isn't it? I... But I'm doing it because, I mean, you know, it's my first apartment with my own, you know, the phone bill. I'm the only one who sees the phone bill, so it's not like, it's not like I have a roommate, so you're going to go, did you make a $600 phone call the other day? <laughs> yeah, I thought my buddy's area code was 900, and I fucked it up. It was... I hit three, there's just a guy and a girl going to talk back, he's in, you know, and she's like, she's like, yeah, you horny baby? He's like, yeah, I'm horny, bitch. I'm like, I'm like, whoa, be nice. Like, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be on his team. I'm just sitting there quiet, listen, I'm going back and forth, you know, yeah, baby, you, yeah, you know, and it's just, I'm <laughs> like a fucking 10 year old, you know. I hear he's like, yeah, you like that? She's like, yeah, I like it. He's, and she's like, he was like, are you gonna come? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna come. And she's like, I want you to come inside me. And I'm like, and I snap. I'm like, whoa, you barely fucking know this guy. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was the first thing I said. And they're like, hey, who's that? And I'm like, oh shit, uh, is Bill there? Fuck, well, I, I, <laughs> I had the wrong number for the past 22 minutes. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't get into stuff like that. Like, I get weirded out. Like, I'm one of those guys who thinks stupid. Like, I can't say I've never had a one-night stand. It just wasn't 
my call. Like, <laughs> I just wasn't invited back, you know, I mean. But I can, I'm still one of those guys, like, I never think in terms of today. Like, I don't, you know, I think too far in advance. Like, I remember I had a girl, it was after a show here a few years ago, like, this was, was a hot chick, comes up to me after a show, you know, she's like, I want to hang out with you tonight, where are you going? I looked down, she had a tattoo on her boob of a dude's name that wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't think in terms of that. I'm like, that's going to fucking bother me eventually. <laughs> I, I might... My mom's not going to like that shit at all. I, unless you remove that boob or I change my name to fucking Malik, that's going to bug the shit out of me. So it's not going to work out. But I, I get weirded out by something. My wife, like, after, uh, after we've been together for a while, like, it took her a while. She finally asked me one night, like, she's like, how come you're so quiet when we have sex? How come you don't make more noise when we have sex? I'm like, I guess because I'm not really used to there being another person. Right? Like, I wasn't really trying to draw a crowd up to this point, I guess. I'm like, like, you really want me to make more noise? Listen to my voice. What's going to come out of here that's going to make this shit hotter? You know, like, like, oh, yeah, that's fucking sweet, baby. Like, you don't... This is good for telling jokes, but it'll dry your shit up quick in the dark. Like, you don't... I shut the fuck up there. <laughs> but she put me on the spot one night, though. We're, we're having sex. She's, she's like, come on, talk dirty. It'll be fun. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> like, it won't be fun. It'll be weird. Because nothing I say is going to sound cool. Some guys can say shit and sound cool. Like you watch porn. Those guys say shit I'm not going to say. <laughs> like I can't imagine having that much confidence during sex. Oh, I'm going to come. Give me your forehead. <laughs> I can't say that shit. You know what I say, but I'm gonna go, uh-oh. <laughs> I need a tissue. I, uh... <laughs> she wouldn't let it go, though. She's... Come on, I hate when you're so quiet. Just try. I'm like, I don't wanna. She's like, why not? I'm like, I don't know what to say. She's like, you can say anything, I don't care. I'm like, not you're wrong about that shit. I, and I feel weird having this fucking conversation right now. I, Cause I can't say anything. Like, I was trying to think of shit to say that I could say. Like, I don't want to talk trash, I can't back up. You know, like, be back there like, yeah, take that. Take fucking what? I already know. See, I'm not, I'm not setting myself up for a fucking one-liner here, you know? <laughs> yeah, take that without laughing. I dare you. <laughs> so I was trying to think of shit to say that I could say, but now there's, a, you know, there's like an awkward silence, like uh, she's waiting for me to say something and I got nothing. <laughs> I was trying to think of shit that I heard, but I panicked. <laughs> the best I could come up with on the spot, I was like, uh, I, I want you to come inside me. <laughs> then it was like a really long pause after that. <laughs> To the point where I look over, even the puggles like, I don't know what you said, but you just fucked up. <laughs> where the fuck were you at on that one? You didn't have any suggestions. It seemed like forever. Like, I even started hoping, like, maybe she didn't hear that shit. You know. <laughs> Finally, I hear, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I said, give me your forehead. God damn. <laughs> I 
I wish I made most of that shit up. I, uh... <laughs> that pretty much went down like that. The dog didn't talk, but... Uh... But she, she stayed. That's the thing, I can honestly say, she's, she's my best friend. And I used, to, uh, I used to hear other dudes say that about their wife or their girlfriend. And I'm like, how can you have a best friend who can't play Madden? You know, but it's not about that. It's the person who's there, you know, to support you. It's the person who puts up with my shit. I mean, you know, because if you're single for a long time, you start to convince yourself, like, I am a pretty fucking good catch. You know, I mean... <laughs> My dog thinks I'm fucking sweet, I, I, and I don't... Why am I single? And then now I look at myself through her eyes every day, and I'm like, oh, that's why. I was there. Uh, I'm fucking annoying. But, you know, we have, you don't have to have everything in common. You know, we... She's almost 10 years younger than me, so we have, like, generation gap shit. Like, you know, like, we don't listen to the same music. Like, I listen to me, like, old school stuff, and she listens to... Shit. Like, <laughs> like, we were driving here last time, and uh, this is that, uh, was it Bruno Mars? I'll catch a grenade for you. And the thing, I don't mind if you want to sing a sappy song, but now I gotta live up to your fucking lyrics. Because I know what's coming. As soon as I hear that, I know what's coming. Would you catch a grenade for me? <laughs> Like, yeah, if the pin was still in it, probably. I mean, that's just a free grenade, you know? I'm like, the bigger issue here is I'm like, I don't know if I'd be with you if I thought you were the type of chick that people throwing fucking grenades at all the time. I mean, I might need to reevaluate my feelings at that point, you know? Yeah, she's pretty, she's smart, but for some reason, the German army fucking hates her. I don't know what it is. She did something. I'll jump in front of a train for you. <laughs> Would you jump in front of a train for me? No. <laughs> What's jumping in front of a train gonna do for anybody? You jump in front of a bullet to stop a bullet. I'm not gonna stop a train. I'm like, how fucking fat do you think I am to stop a fucking train? Which means we're both gonna get hit by a train, only I'm gonna look dumb on the news. You know, I... Yesterday, two people got killed by a train. So there's just been one, but the first one was a real fucking idiot. Like, I just, yeah, I don't listen to, I can't listen to new, you get to a certain age with new music where it's just like this shit, just doesn't apply to me anymore. Like, you know, like, I don't know what you kids are singing about, but the fuck off my lawn. All right, like, I don't... <laughs> like, I listen to older stuff. Like, we'll be in a car. Like, I have the, I have, uh, the, the satellite radio in my car. I have the, the, we were in the car, I had the 80 station on, and, uh, dude, fuck yeah, Hall and Oates. I know, I, I, uh... <laughs> she was, cause she went to a Hall and Oates concert with me. I remember, like, the, uh... Like, where it was at the Hollywood Bowl. Like, I remember just, you know, everybody's watching. <laughs> There's one, like, 19-year-old girl in our section. She's the only one standing up, jumping, like, ah, why are you? She, why isn't anybody like, up dancing? I'm like, because we're all fucking 40. Shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> trying to hear Maneater, and you're fucking it up right now. I mean... We were in a car, I was listening to the 80 station, and Lionel Richie came on. So I turned it up, because it had a respect for Lionel Richie. I mean, she's like, who's this? I'm like, it's Lionel Richie. She takes him, and she's like, oh, is that Nicole Richie's dad? I'm like, I'm going to drop you off. Like, I'm just... I'll come back for you, but uh, I'm going to need some time. You know, I... Uh... Yeah, we don't listen to the same music. I gotta, I gotta share the TV. All she watches are cooking shows. And she doesn't fucking cook. She doesn't absorb any of the shit. I just have to sit there and watch it with her. She's like, ooh, wouldn't that be good? I'm like, yeah, if we invited that dude over, I guess it'd be really good. 
let's have some more Cheerios tonight. What do you think? I mean, she, I mean it's not because I think you know, she, you know, she has to cook. She's what that. It's not a sexist thing. It's just she watches this shit all the time, and I have to sit there. I hate the fucking Food Network. I hate watching these people fucking just. What, fucking, they were just such dicks about everything. Like, how can you get that mad over a fucking cupcake? Why are you that mad over a cupcake? Hey, I was a little disappointed with the texture. Shut the fuck up, all right? Smile and eat your free cupcake. Jesus Christ. We, yeah, she's just, you know, we, she tries to, you know, make me eat healthier. She shops at Trader Joe's, fucking hippie. <laughs> I've been to Trader Joe's once. I did like three laps with an empty basket and left. I was mad. <laughs> hey, how the fuck are you people in business? Some lady asked me, she's like, can I help you find something? I might get something I fucking recognize. would be fantastic, yeah. Where's your Oreos aisle? This sucks. So I, yeah, I always go to the regular. I have to. I have to sneak like after shows at night. I I go to the regular grocery store. I would go. I always go to Vons in L.A. Like late at night after shows. I was there one. I bought a bunch of shit one night, but with tax and everything, somehow everything I bought came to fifty dollars even. The cashier acted like we hit a slot machine. <laughs> like we were gonna win shit for this. <laughs> She's like, that's $50, $50 even, that's $50 on a day. You have $50 exactly. I'm like, you're right. Just... <laughs> She's like, Gary, come look at this. He had $50 even. You have $50 even. I bet you can't do that again. I'm like, I bet I could buy all the same shit again. I mean, can we, can we just start putting this shit in a bag? We're waiting for Gary to come over with the fucking balloons. Jesus. Or Vons does, I don't have any of the other grocery stores. I'm supposed to like a Vons scam. You been through this where they bring your shit up, they do the club card and the tax and everything, right as you're about to pay, they make their big announcement. Oh, and would you like to donate a dollar to help fight muscular dystrophy? <laughs> no, I'd much rather look like a fucking asshole to everybody else in line right now, actually. I'd rather leave the store as everyone glares at me like, what a cheap fucking asshole he was. <laughs> I want all of them to think I like muscular dystrophy, son of a bitch. Can you break a two, motherfucker? Because I hate you. I hate you fucking place. <laughs> but we, uh... But it's yeah, it's 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 cool though. Like being, uh, you know, I'm I. Uh, everybody always asks how marriage is going, and I'm like, you know, it's good for me. <laughs> Feel sorry for her. <laughs> but yeah, we, you know, you know, we don't listen to the same music. We, uh, you know, the TV. We try to find shit we can both watch on TV. We watch a lot of crap. We do watch marathons and stuff. Like, you ever just watch, you know, like, just because you're too lazy to find something else, you know? Like, oh, this show fucking sucks. I'm going to give him four more episodes, but this is bullshit. <laughs> like, you know, like, I mean, like, I, she, yeah, she, you know, I put it through a lot of, a lot of dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> I love that show. I, I got to meet him once at Chelsea lately. I was going to let him... Signed my tits. <laughs> he was cool though. Talking to him was cool. It's just funny because I'm thinking, you know, he's a he's a celebrity, but he's a bounty hunter still. So everywhere he goes, everybody's excited to see him except one guy. You know, like, like hey, it's Dr. Oh fuck. That oh, shit. <laughs> we uh we watch a lot of garbage. We, I don't know if you noticed, like every cable channel now has a ghost show. You know, ghost hunters and ghost adventures. It's got to be the easiest show in the world to produce. <laughs> There's nothing fucking there ever. I mean, every every show. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. I fucking missed it again. That shit just doesn't scare me. About the ghosts, they're ghosts. 
Nobody dies of ghosts. <laughs> you know, they don't do shit. Like, if I heard a bump in the middle of the night, I'd, I woke up <laughs> and I saw, I saw a ghost, I'd be kind of relieved. <laughs> like, oh, good, it's not the plumbing. Fuck! I... <laughs> Jesus, I thought we had a pipe out or something. She, I, no, I, no, no, it's fine, it's not the plumbing, it's just the little girl on a rocking horse for some reason. I don't know what the fuck she was. Shut the fuck up, little girl on a rocking horse for trying to sleep. Jesus Christ, I almost called a plumber. Just cry, rock quieter or something. It's four o'clock in the morning. If I gotta get up again, I'm gonna knock the shit out of you, all right? You think you're dead now. If I, yeah, fuck the test me. I'm just not afraid of ghosts. Of all things to find in my house, Ghost is way down the list of shit that I'm afraid of. Ghost is way below, like, fucking possum. <laughs> Possums scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> if I found a possum in my house, I'd be like, well, I guess it's your house. Now, I, we gotta... I hate those things. They look like a rat went to the fair and got a caricature of himself or some shit like that. <laughs> that's scary shit. Teeth and claws and rabies. That scares you. Ghosts, they're ghosts. You know? Because nobody dies of ghosts. There's fucking, you know, there's no coroner re reports out there. Oh, looks like another ghost attack, Johnny. <laughs> They're ghosts. If you watch those shows, real ghosts are pretty boring. Like, it's not like the movies. Like, if some shit happened at your house, like, like Poltergeist, I could see a reason to call the fucking Discovery Channel. <laughs> yeah, we had a house and a daughter. Now, we don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's never like that. A real ghosts don't do shit. It's like somebody bitching about their keys. Somebody's keys always moved. <laughs> I put my keys right there, but now, now they're right there. Oh, well, you better get the fuck out of there, then. You can't, you can't live in a house with sliding fucking keys everywhere. I mean, what if the counter gets scratched? Run! <laughs> I'm not afraid to wake up to my keys move. I'm afraid to wake up to a real threat, something that could actually do some harm. Like if I wake up at night, I look up, I see a, a naked guy <laughs> with a machete <laughs> and a boner. Now I'm fucking scared. Like that's, that's the type of shit I, this is not gonna end well, is it? Uh, I don't like either one of those options. I <laughs> guess I'd probably pick the machete if he gave me a choice, but uh, I definitely shouldn't go back to sleep at this point. I know that. I don't think he's going to give up on me or that boner that fast. And he doesn't seem to be afraid of the little girl on the rocking horse either, so I should probably put some shoes on because... I got a lot of running and screaming to do tonight. I, <laughs> I need my keys. Fuck! Who moved my keys? Fuck them. <laughs> That's scary shit. Everybody's, a, it's just, I guess everybody's afraid of different shit, you know. Everybody has their, you know, I, I'm afraid of the ocean. I won't go in the ocean. I've lived in L.A. for... 13 years. I'm not going to the ocean. Fucking sharks live there. <laughs> and I don't care what your statistics are. I have a TV, too. <laughs> oh, you have a better chance of winning the lottery and do get eaten by a shark. Oh, thanks. You know you have no chance of winning the lottery if you don't play the fucking lottery. All right? The same thing goes for the shark sweepstakes. All right? <laughs> you got to be in it to win it. You can't fucking... <laughs> Everybody's ever been eaten by a shark. I have one thing in common. They were all fucking wet when that shit happens. It's a very easy thing to avoid. I'm not going in. I won't go. My, uh, my wife tried to get me. I was doing a show in, uh, in, in Guam. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, because it wasn't like a military show. It was just for... Guam, like, it was just like, they were like, you want to go to Guam? I'm like, does Guam want me to come there? I, I guess. 
But we were doing a, we were doing a show there, and my wife's like, you know, they were they had like scuba diving tours next door, and she's like, I want to go scuba diving. I'm like, I'll hold your stuff, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going. Like, did you ever see that movie, Open Water? Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a shitty movie. <laughs> it's based on a true story. The couple went scuba diving, they just left them there. And they must have really loved each other, too, because the guy gets bit by a shark, and his wife just hangs out with him. <laughs> I don't care who you are. As soon as you start bleeding, that's when I start drifting away. <laughs> Ah, my leg hurts. I bet it does. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, I just wanted to see if there were boats over here. You know, I just thought maybe we should split up at this point. You know, you, you take where the water's red and uh, I'll get the rest of the sea. Uh, I think it's a good plan. <laughs> she's always, yeah, she's, uh, she's got too much energy. She's always trying to get me to go do stuff. When we were first dating, she got me to go uh, uh, skydiving, which I wanted to do that when I was younger. You know, I guess I, as I get older, I become more of a pussy. You know, like, I used to love roller coasters. Now I look at them, I'm like, that could fucking break. I don't like that shit. But yeah, we, uh, we, went, uh, we went skydiving. They don't let you go by yourself the first time skydiving. They make you go what's called tandem, which is like with training wheels, except the training wheels are fucking breathing on you the whole time. It's, it, it takes a lot of the cool out of it. Like, I was excited to go. Like, I was up all night the night before watching, like, point break and shit. You know, like, like I'm going to be a daredevil in the morning. You're not a daredevil with a British guy strapped to your ass. Like, I, I felt more like cargo. Oh, hold me, Nigel. Because <laughs> ever since I did it, people are like, oh, I bet that's a weird experience, jumping out of a plane. Yeah, you know what's weirder? Fucking Nigel. All right, that's a, that's a weird experience still, because, yeah, I've never jumped out of a plane before. Never had this much dude on my back either, so... Now it's not only scary, it's fucking socially awkward too, because now I gotta jump out of a plane and not fart. I mean, it's, it's a lot of pressure. I mean, scariest moment of my life, I was kind of planning on screaming and farting the whole way down. Now I gotta hold it in like we're in fucking church. We had to show up real early in the morning. We did it out east of LA in the desert. We had to, we had to, show, up like, we had to show up like 7 a.m. Like, I thought, I thought there was gonna be training of some kind, there's no training. It's just strapping. <laughs> and you gotta sign a bunch of shit that you don't wanna read. <laughs> you know, you'd be like, yeah, all right, we'll be up high. <laughs> if I die, I can fuck off. Sounds good, all right, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and you'll charge my mom for the jumpsuit, too. Boy, this is fun. But there's no training. It's just me getting strapped to Nigel for like an hour, and he's fucking aggressive. You know, I'm like, are, are you mad at me, sir? Like, okay, fuck. We're together, all right? I'm your guy. I won't dance with any other boys, I promise. <laughs> Finally, he says to me, he's like, when I open this, parachute, these straps are going to get really tight. I'm like, they're, they're pretty fucking tight. I'm like, and did you just kiss my neck? Because I, I don't remember signing that fucking form. But once you're strapped to them, you're going. Hey, we're on our way to the plane. Just <laughs> It feels like we're hostages. <laughs> it's like, can I call my mom? Up. All right, fuck, I just, I just asked. I didn't even think we were, we were done getting ready. You know, because we had, we, had we had the jumpsuit, we had the straps. I'm like, where's my helmet? <laughs> now, I just had a fucking helmet. <laughs> I'm like, where's my helmet? He's like, oh, you don't need a helmet. I'm like, I'm on the bottom, motherfucker. Like, if anybody... <laughs> if anybody should have a helmet, I think I'm helmet guy. 
They gave me goggles. Yeah, let's save my eyes, you know, just in case the chute doesn't open. I can see exactly how fucked up my spine is from now on. Look, I, I walk like shit. <laughs> so they put us in a plane. It's not a nice plane. It's a fucked up plane. It's like they bought a plane at a yard sale or something. <laughs> But it's like a 15-minute ride to get up there, and I got a ride on Nigel's lap. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm like, there, there's no turbulence. I'm like, why are we the only ones bouncing, Nigel? I don't. You just give me a pony ride to calm me down right now, because. So we go up to like 12,000 feet, and we level off. And I figured once we got up there, we were gonna have time to talk about this shit. You know, like, <laughs> sign some more forms or something, I mean. But they do like 10 jumps a day, so they don't have time for your thoughts. They just open the door and people just start falling out. Like, it's, it's like they're empty in the trash. And I'm getting closer to my turn, and I'm not a religious guy, but I'm like, we, we forgot to pray, anyway. <laughs> they don't even give me time to do that. I'm like, our father, who art in, fuck! <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's worse than not praying. I, I mean, I just said, our father, who art in, fuck. I, 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 I think I just stamped our fucking hell ticket, Nigel. We gotta, we gotta go back. So we just, we just free fall for like two minutes. You're just plummeting towards death. And you're just, there's just air hitting you in the face. Like you can't, you can't think, you can't breathe. You, you can't close your mouth. Like I wasn't even worried about dying. I was just like, man, my teeth are fucking cold. Right? I, I just want the shoe to open so I have warmer fucking teeth. Cause that's what I'm thinking is like, once the shoot opens, this will be fun. It'll be, you know, breathtaking and exhilarating and me and Nigel will... <laughs> we'll make a day out of it. But there's none of that, cause I forgot what he said about the straps. I don't know if he did my straps wrong or they weren't right. I mean, because everybody else went, you know, my wife, everybody, they were fine. You know? Nigel opens our shoot, the straps just take over my balls. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is fucking beautiful. I'm, I'm so glad I gave you 300 bucks to do this shit, Nigel. <laughs> and I'm stuck like that. And I'm waiting for him to say something, and it, like, address this shit. I mean, <laughs> I mean, cause I'm not a, you know, I'm not an expert on skydiving, it's my first time. I just know we don't look like the fucking website, right? <laughs> so finally he chimes in, he's like, oh, something's wrong with your straps. I'm like, oh, thank you for joining us, I appreciate that. <laughs> Like, what are we gonna do about it? He's like, oh, there's nothing we can do. He's like, don't worry, I'm okay. I'm like, oh, good, well, fuck you. He's like, yeah, I know it's uncomfortable, but you just have to ride it out like that. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll ride it out, but let's land. He's still trying to make a ride out of this. He's like, oh no, you're gonna love this view. I'm like, face it, Nigel, we failed. All right, I mean. Sometimes shit just doesn't work out. We tried. He's trying to give me a sightseeing tour while we're up there. He's like, oh, if you look over there, you can see San Diego. I'm like, well, I sure don't give a fuck right now. I do. I've, I've seen San Diego before. What I'd like to see is blood back in Madong again. I, I'd like to see circulation in the ground very soon. We can land. We can land right there. He's like, no, we gotta land in fucking Charlotte. I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming to the show. Thank you, South Point. Thank you guys.
You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.